Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tanks Cooks. Steak rare! All right, let's go. All right, we got steak here. And this isn't Bajoli steak this time, no. This is a genuine ribeye from Stu Leonard's. They have a high reputation about their meat. So we're gonna get ready to cook a ribeye steak. You know, eventually I like to get outside and grill. It's a little chilly, it's a little late. So we're gonna be cooking this on the stove top. And before we start cooking it, we're gonna season it up. We're gonna put my favorite season on it, accent. We're gonna put a little salt on it. A little pepper. We're gonna sage it up a little bit. We're gonna put this uh, this little this other pepper. It's a little hotter pepper called Nihis pepper. And we're gonna do it on both sides. And we'll let this sit for a few minutes as we start to preheat our pan. Da da da. Yeah, da, da. Seasoning up the steak, seasoning up the steak. Here we go, who's seasoning up? Seasoning up the steak, seasoning up the steak. Don't make a mistake when you season up the steak. All right, now that we got our steak seasoned, we'll start getting this pan ready. Da, 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 da. Ba -da -da. All right, we'll get the pan. We'll start heating up the pan. We'll put a little olive oil in here. I got the Jenko olive oil. Yes, that's right, the Jenko olive oil. I heard a very good family ran this for years. Da -da -da. Jenko olive oil. Get some butter in the pan, butter in the pan. Butter in the pan, butter in the pan. Jenko olive oil and butter in the pan. We got some uh, fries already cooked up, cooked up. This is only gonna take a few minutes to cook a steak. And by the way, we had the steak, we've had it sitting at room temperature for an hour. When you cook a steak and you take it directly from the fridge and put it in the pan, that's never a good thing. It just like shocks the steak and makes it tough. But after letting it sit outside, room temperature for about an hour. It like helps the juices get preserved inside of it. And also, we've also made some uh, potato skins with uh, gravy with this. With some good steak fries. I think these probably should have cooked another five minutes or so. So we'll put these back on. Light up. Let's see how those potato skins look. Potato skins, potato skins, skin the potato skins. Oh, these look good. Now, like when we make this butter melt and make this can get very hot before we put putting this thing there. So it's basically you want to preheat the pan for about, about five minutes or so. Ok, 
okay, maybe another minute or two, we'll be able to put the steak on. And that will be where real action takes place. Steak, steak, steak. Steak. You know what that pan's saying? It's ready. That's what that pan is saying. That pan is saying it's ready to take on this steak. So we'll take the steak and put it in. Listen that sizzle, 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 sizzle. Ah oh, yes, it is sizzle. And you want to cook each side for about two minutes. <laughs> And what you want to do sometimes is take some of this butter and baste it as it is cooking in the pan. Basting the steak as it cooks in the pan. And then we get our tongs. And after about two minutes, we whoops. After two minutes, we turn the steak around. And now we do this for another two minutes on this side. Now, depends on how you like it. Uh, we've got our meat thermometer here, and uh, I believe it's like um, beef, medium rare is 125, medium is 135. So we're gonna be shooting for a temperature inside of 135. Sizzle, 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 and of course we base this side. This is how we cook a steak. And of course we do each side two minutes. And now something you might want to consider doing is Sealing the side like this for a minute or so, for a couple of seconds. Oh, yes, you can see it that 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 is melting into it. It's just about time for a temperature check. All right. It says one eleven, one thirteen. So we're talking probably another minute. Back around this way. There we go, 134. All right. 
So we'll take the steak off. Ba, 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 ba. Put in the plate. Now we should let the steak rest for a few minutes. We'll serve up our, get our plate ready. La, da, da, da. Boom. There it is on the plate. Just to let it settle for about two minutes. Meantime, we'll grab some uh, potato skins. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Add a little salt to our potatoes. Time to plate the meal. It's time to plate the meal. Hmm. These come out good in the air fryer. Get a nice little bite of our potato skins. Could use a little salt. But the paste de resistance is the steak itself, which I will do a little salt on. Because I love salt. Salt Bay, I am more salty than you. We got the steak. Look at that inside. Doesn't that look good? Came out really good. And when I get outside and start grilling, it's gonna be even better. Mm. Nice steak, delicious.